Hi everyone, welcome back. As I said in the introduction, today we're gonna to be uh, talking about how to achieve a flawless uh, skin full coverage uh, with foundation and uh, for dry skin. I have really dry skin and I just, I like full coverage um, when I'm going to go out or when I have little breakouts like I do now. Um, so sometimes I like full coverage. So if you're a gal that likes <laughs> full coverage but has dry skin and you like a doer, dewier look, um, then let's just get right into it. Okay, first of all is skincare. You have to start with your skin because it doesn't matter how you know full coverage or dewy or whatever your foundation is or how good it is, if the canvas that you're putting it on is not hydrated and it's not plump already, then you know the results are not gonna be the best. My nose itches, sorry. Okay, so I start with when I wash my face. And I usually wash my face with Elf's Daily Cleanser. I really love this cleanser. Um, it's really light, it has purified water, it's really light and it's really hydrating and I really love it, it's not harsh at all. And then because I have, again, really dry skin, I exfoliate and I use the Elf Exfoliating Scrub. I really love this scrub, I don't know how many I have bought and will keep buying. This is like five, maybe, I wanna say between five and eight dollars. I can put the price up here. Um, it says it has purified water and vitamin E. This is a scrub that I love. I have a few videos where I describe why I love this, this scrub and I can link them up here or down below. But it's not harsh and it's not super mild. So it's that good in between. And then I usually use um, my Clinique um, is wet because I just got it out of the shower, but it is my Clinique Liquid Facial Mild Soap. And this soap, I use it usually as a final step. I really love it. It lasts forever. It's a little bit pricey, 20 something dollars, but um, I love it. It has lasted me, wow, this, this is going up on a year because I use very little of it and it really, really works to hydrate your face. So, and then after washing, you pat dry and it's really important to moisturize, especially if you have dry skin. If you have oily skin, of course moisturize. Even for oily skin, some oils are good. I'm not an expert on oily skin, so I will leave that to the experts. So if you have oily skin, uh, let us know down below what are your favorite moisturizers and oils. Um, but for dry skin, what I am using is sort of like a mix and I become like a little chemist and I mix it in my hand. I use my Cetaphil Daily Drying, Daily Drying, not drying, in daily hydrating lotion for dry to extra dry skin. I love this. So I do two pumps of this and then I use my Neutrogena Ageless Intensiveness. This I cannot live without. I have backups upon backups. I have bought these two over and over again. Uh, so I do two pumps of this, one pump of this, and then I have some vitamin C that I mix in with that. I have that and then I have a moisturizer and this one I bought at, it's really like no brand. I bought it at TJ Maxx and it has like sea minerals. It says anti-wrinkle day cream with dead sea minerals. And it has been really good. I have actually almost used it all up. It has been really good. I just used a dab of this. So I mix all of that and then I put it all over my face, including under my eyes. And then I use a, um, a um, under eye cream and I'm now using the Clinique one. Um, I, used to, I also use the Stridectin one. I use a drugstore, the Garnier one. It's really, really good. So for under my eyes, I always, always hydrate. Um, after that, now your face is moisturized and it's ready to go. Under my eyes, I love using this. This is the Physician's Formula Refreshment. I really, really love this because um, it just moves out your under eye. It kind of tugs at the beginning when you start applying it, but it's so cooling and it does refresh so, so much. And I have dark circles and I have things that I want to you know, to smooth out, <laughs> not that you can smooth out dark circles, but I, I have, you know, fine lines and things like that that I do want to smooth out. So I want that to dry. Okay, now that your face is all plump and hydrated, you want to prime. Um, for dry skin, I love sprays like this. Uh, this is the Smashbox Primer Water. I use these, uh, these, I use these, I can't speak. I use this um, quite often. I really love it. Um, it really hydrates. Um, 
I don't use it every day uh, because I actually really forget, but it is very good. I also have another one that I bought at TJ Maxx um, that is like a um, hyaluronic acid one, um, and it just really hydrates your face. I love um, to spray my face before uh, primer. Then for primer, I love my Angel Veil. And this is not particularly a hydrating primer, but when we, you know, we're gonna make it hydrating. Um, and so that our full coverage foundation goes on smooth and it doesn't cake up during the day and it doesn't break apart or crack. You know, when you have dry skin, it tends to like emphasize dry patches and all that. So we want to prep really well so that that doesn't happen with our full coverage foundation. So I use about that much and I just warm it up between my fingers and start patting that in. I love, love this primer. It gives you a really smooth canvas. I'm about done with this one. And I have a backup, of course. <laughs> it's kind of pricey, but you get, you know, NYX always has the um, buy one, get one half off. Usually, uh, sometimes they have buy one, get one free. It's crazy. They usually have the half off, the buy one, get one half off. But So that primer is so good, so good. It just gives you a really smooth canvas. So now we are ready for foundation. Okay, so now we are ready for foundation. And for dry skin, I think it's important that you use a damp sponge. I use my L'Oreal sponge. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little winded, I had to go downstairs. Okay, so I think that for dry skin, it's super important that you use a damp sponge. I used to do my foundation with my fingers, I mean my whole life, <laughs> but um, when I discovered the sponge, that was like, life-changing it was a game changer for sure so i love my l'oreal sponge of course you can use any sponge nyx has one that is really good of course the beauty blender i love this one so you're gonna damp it oh this is a little bit too wet <laughs> it was dripping okay so a damp sponge will just add that extra hydration. It will, I think it will spread it out better in, on dry skin. So today I'm going to be using the double wear. What am I using? <laughs> the double wear stay in place makeup by Stay Lauder. This is a foundation that is full coverage. It has been around forever and a day. And I have a few dupes, um, drugstore dupes that are obviously more affordable. The Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Foundation it is a dead on dupe. I mean, it even smells like it. This, people say, oh, you know, the, the Photo Focus Foundation smells like paint. So does this. Yeah, this is $5, this is like 42, so that is a really good dupe. Another one that is really good from the drugstore is the um, 24 hour foundation, but this is a super stay foundation by Maybelline. This is another super great foundation. I've used up a lot of it. I'm not using this one today because this one tends to oxidize on me a little bit and it tends to look a little bit too dark, but those are really good dupes. Today we're gonna be using the Stella Lauder uh, Double Wear Foundation. And what I do is I take my foundation, put it on my hand, I use about two pumps, about that much. Oh, it's running down. And then I mix it with an oil. So I here I have the NYX Hydra Touch um, touch Hydra Touch Priming Oil, and that is a dead-on dupe for the Smashbox Primer Oil. So today I'm going to be using the NYX one. I think this is the more affordable um, option. And I use oops, I use one, two drops. That is all I use when I am when I am using um, two pumps. I am usually using about two drops of that oil. Actually, I need to use a little bit more foundation because I use three. I use three, three drops. Okay, so I'm gonna mix that in my hand. It's gonna look, it's gonna look a little bit dewy on my hand. And then I'm gonna start putting it on my face. You can do this where you can just dip your um, sponge into your mixture and then put it on. I like doing it this way, I don't know why. And then you just start buffing that in. Or not buffing, but pressing that in with your sponge. Okay, and that is the foundation on. This foundation is full coverage, but I find that when I mix it with the oil and everything, it's not super full coverage. Like I did need to go, sorry, my nose itches, I don't know what's going on today. 
I did have to go on with a little bit more right here where I have some blemishes. I had to go in, you know, with a dot more. Um, I am pressing my my foundation, my foundation, my sponge because I can get a little bit more foundation, and I like doing that because it's still it's like mixing with the water um, on this in the sponge, and you know, it's, it's not just foundation caked on. And I'm going over that a little bit. So this foundation is as full coverage as I like it. If you like more coverage, then of course you can layer it up, layer it up, and do another another layer of foundation. Um, I would be careful though because I wouldn't want it to like cake up on me. Okay, so for my under eye, because you know we're not done with our flawless um, foundation for dry skin, um, I am going to be using my Becca under eye brightening. This is so emollient, so moisturizing and also brightening so fun for under the eyes is at least for my really dry under eye is so good and I'm using my um, concealer brush from elf and I'm just gonna pat that in and that's all you need is just I'm really just doing about that much and just really patting that in then what I do is I take my sponge, maybe the, the side that has the foundation, and I pat that so that I don't have a line between where the brightening uh, under eye um, paste <laughs> ends and where the foundation begins. So for concealer, I am going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape. And this can tend to be a little drying, but when I put it on top of this Becca product, it works really, really well. And also, I don't use a whole lot of this because this is super full coverage. So you really just need a few dots. I'm gonna just conceal some of my blemishes here. Um, and that is all that I, I start with that, and then if I need more, I add more. Okay, so there's it. there is the concealer. Um, this concealer, I love it, but I use very little of it because it is um, it is full coverage and it can get thick under the eyes, under my eyes at least. So I do use um, a smaller amount than what I see on, obviously on YouTube and um, where people use a lot of it. And I do see some of it, some of my um, darkness peaking. I think I used Let's see, I think I used a color that is too light for under my eyes. So I'm gonna add a little bit of light medium. I used light medium honey. I'm gonna add a little bit of light medium. It's just a little bit darker and I am going to blend that in. And also using the sponge will be so good because first of all, it's damp. So you're adding hydration to your under eye. And second, it will shear it out a little bit. So I do not mind if some of my darkness still peeks through. It's fine, I mean, we have dark circles. I don't want it to look like I have concealer on. Um, so, you know, as much as I can, I don't want it to look that way. Okay, so I am going to go in with some under eye setting powder. And the setting powder that I have found that is really good to have a flawless, you know, um, full coverage just on, for dry skin is my Cody Airspun. This this is really good. Um, I don't particularly like the smell of it, but you know, it's a small sacrifice. So I take about that much under on my sponge. I do not bake because of course I have dry on dry, so I do not bake. I just pat that in, and I do feel that using a damp sponge again is adding some hydration. Um, your under eye. I'm gonna take my my flawless concealer um, brush from e.l.f. and I'm just gonna go like this here so that I reach those places where that corner, inner corner, where the um, sponge can't reach. I can't talk and do this at the same time apparently. Okay, so that is, um, that is the, the under eye. Let me see how this looks up close. Yes, up close, it looks really, really good. I don't know if you can see there, but it looks really good. It's covered, it's not drying, it looks flawless, it feels, it feels good, it feels silky, I don't want anything to feel cakey. And when I go like this, yes, of course I have wrinkles, you know, and, and but it's not 
creep, creeping up, you know it's not doing that, so that's good. Okay, for the rest of my face, I am going to use my favorite Flawless Pressed Powder. Oh, this is out of focus, there we go. I am going to use my favorite um, pressed powder that just will give you that smoothness. Okay, so this is the Flower Light Illusion Pressed Powder. I love this powder because it does blur. It really does. So I just take, um, this is not the Real Techniques um, 103. This was in a holiday um, kit last year. I don't know if it's sold anymore. You can take any powder foundation. You can take like one like the It Cosmetics or you can take one. This is from Walmart. It's so good. It's like $4. It's so good. Oops. Uh-oh. I dropped something. Notice how I'm doing like downward motion and then going up because I don't want my foundation to move. If you have a more liquidy foundation than this one and you feel that it's just going to move, just go ahead and pat your your powder on instead of instead of buffing go ahead and pat first and then buff out but with this foundation because it dries down quite a bit i can go ahead and just do like downward motions like this and i feel that that just gives gives a more flawless your pores don't look um as pronounced so let me see up close yes that powder is so good okay so we got our flawless base on what i do at this point is i really like to spray my face so that it locks in and it looks even more flawless so for that i am going to use my morphe continuous spray and you can use like a mac fix plus as well this i think is like a dupe for it i'm i need to i need to test it out more but i have mac fix plus and i have this and of course the pump and everything is different, but the product itself, I think it's a pretty good alternative. So let me spray my face. And that is my base, my full coverage foundation base for dry skin. I am going to go uh, do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back with all of my makeup on. I was just, um, Video or yeah, videotaping another, filming another video. And so this is my finished look. Everything went on top so flawlessly, so nicely. Um, you know, the bronzer, the blush, this is going to be in another video. Like I said, I will link it if it's up. If not, make sure to watch it, make sure to subscribe so that you can get notified. Um, and ring the little bell so that you can get notified. But everything went on and this is my finished flawless foundation, full coverage. Uh, skin for dry skin. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. Please stay joyfully beautiful and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.